Hi, I'm Mike Reichenbach with the University of Minnesota Extension. I'm an Extension Educator in Forestry. I'll be talking about the pre-settlement forest along Minnesota's north shore of Lake Superior and how it's changed from a mixed hardwood conifer forest to a forest dominated by birch. This birch forest shows signs of decline due to a combination of age and shallow droughty soils. Sugarloaf, the North Shore Stewardship Association, is working to restore conifers to this unique forest. The combination of cool summer temperatures and shallow soil along the north shore of Lake Superior has helped to produce a unique forest community. Some plant species like thimbleberry, tall bluebell, and mountain ash grow very well along the north shore. Ecologists have identified three native plant communities that are unique to the North Shore Forest. The Upland White Cedar Forest, the North Shore Spruce Fir Woodland, and the Lake Superior Bedrock Shrubland. The Upland White Cedar Forest was once common within a mile of the shore, where lake effect climate is most influential. White cedar is the dominant tree in this forest type, Quaking aspen, paper birch, balsam fir, white spruce, and sometimes white pine are present. Starflower, blue bead lily, and wild sarsaparilla are the most common ground layer plants. Balsam fir, white spruce, paper birch, and black spruce make up the spruce fir woodland. The forest floor is covered by many species of lichens and mosses. The soil is thin and exposed bedrock is frequently observed. Blueberry and bush honeysuckle are common, as are Canada mayflower, bunchberry, and large-leaved aster. The bedrock shrubland community is composed of shrubs, wildflowers, grasses, sedges, lichens, mosses, and scattered trees. The plants occur in patches on cliffs and rocky outcrops. The trees are often stunted due to the poor growing conditions. Common shrubs include juneberry and hawthorn. Trees include balsam fir, white spruce, paper birch, and mountain ash. Lichens cover areas of exposed bedrock. For more information about Minnesota's native plant communities, you might want to order the field guide to the native plant communities of Minnesota from the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources website. Although examples of upland white cedar, north shore spruce fir, and Lake Superior bedrock shrublands are found along the north shore, the coastal forest looks much different today than it did before European settlement. Logging in the late 1800s and early 1900s removed most of the pines and cedars. In the early 1900s, severe fires swept through the slash that was left after logging. The forest we have today is dominated by paper birch and quaking aspen, a few older pines and cedars are present, however these trees have not returned to most parts of the shore. In addition to the logging and the slash fires, other factors have altered the ecology of the coastal forest. Small, periodic fires that drive the natural cycles of vegetation change have been suppressed. These periodic fires reduce fuels, prepare the ground for pine regeneration, release minerals and nutrients to the soil, and create a mosaic of habitats for wildlife. The white-tailed deer population has greatly increased, dramatically changing the forest. Deer browse conifers very heavily in the winter and spring. This has prevented a natural succession to conifers. While all conifers are vulnerable, white cedar and white pine are especially prone to deer browse. As the birch decline and die, the original conifer forest is not returning. There are few seed sources, competition with existing ground cover and deer browse slows the establishment and growth of conifers. Historically, conifer species like red and white pine, spruce and cedar would assume dominance until the next major fire starts the cycle again. To restore and preserve the North Shore forest and protect the streams associated with it, a concerted effort of all North Shore landowners is needed. You can start making a difference today by planting conifers on your property.